Hey yogis, Sarah here and thanks for joining me for today's Head to Toe Yoga Flow. In this class, we're going to flow down to our entire body, creating space and bringing more movement into our practice. This class is perfectly suitable for all levels and you won't need any props today. If you're new here to my channel, I upload free yoga videos every week, so make sure to like and subscribe for more new classes just like this. Gonna come to a comfortable cross-legged seat, just crossing out the ankles, sitting nice and tall, and just rolling the shoulder blades away from the ears. Bringing some length through the spine, allowing the knees to drop heavy and really grounding deeply into our sitting bones. We're gonna start out today with some very gentle neck rolls, just to begin to wake up the neck and into the tops of the shoulders. So once you're ready, sitting nice and tall, hands resting down onto the knees. Begin by dropping your right ear towards the right shoulder and then begin to gently roll the head forward. Bring the gaze to look down towards the feet as you roll the head towards the left. As so your left ear rests towards your left shoulder. Bring back to center, drop the head, look down towards the legs, bring right ear to right shoulder. Begin to sink with the breath, inhale, drop the head. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Inhale, tilting forward. Exhale, right ear, right shoulder. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Last more time. Roll towards the right and roll towards the left. This time, once the left ear comes to the left shoulder, hold there. You'll stay for a breath or two, or you really allow the right shoulder to sink down, finding some space, finding some awareness through the body, noticing what's going on, feeling any tension, any knots. And then gently, Maybe bring your hand towards the head, bring it back up to center, lovely. And begin to inhale, stretch the arms, reach the fingertips towards the ceiling. Begin to look up, so we're beginning to drop the head back. Find length through the spine. Imagine somebody's trying to pull onto your hands, pulling onto your fingertips. So you're extending through the side of the body. You're opening up, lengthen through the spine. Keep the sitting bones nice and heavy, glued into the mat. And allow the knees to be heavy here. So reaching through the fingertips. Begin to twist towards the left and gently float the hands down so your right hand rests towards the left knee and your left hand is somewhere that's comfortably behind you. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twist and go a little bit deeper. Maybe if it's okay in your neck, you could begin to look over the left shoulder. Inhale, fine length. And twist deeper on the exhale. Gently release, back to center. Inhale, reach the fingertips, stretching through the body. Begin to twist and turn over to the right. Float the arms down, left hand meets right knee. Right hand is behind you, inhale, lengthen through the body. Twist and begin to look over the right shoulder. Just bring some gentle movements through the body as we softly wake up. Stretch and release it all out, but gently. Nothing too jagged or stiff. Very gently, fluid-like motions. Or release any tension. Come back to center, lovely. From here, we're gonna take a few seated cacaos, like we would in normal cacao, but we're gonna move from a seated position. So as you normally would, we're gonna to begin to inhale, loop the shoulder blades back, look up, puff the chest forward, open through the belly. Exhale, begin to drop the gaze around through the spine, sinking into cash. Inhale, open up, 
loop the shoulder blades back, drop the gaze. And exhale, rounding back. Inhale, open forward. And exhale, rounding back. We're going to begin to bring more movement into this. We're bringing our hips into our cat cow. So inhale, begin to send the body forward as you open through the chest, rolling through the hips. Roll over towards the right. Exhale, take it back into cat pose. Inhale, send the body forward. So we're rolling through the hips in circles. Exhale, send it back, bring the shoulders in. So send the shoulders forward as you move through the body. Exhale, send it back. Maybe close your eyes to really feel out this pose. Feeling any tension, any stiffness through the whole body. As you find movement into our hips, into the spine, into the shoulders. Send it back, reverse in the opposite direction if you haven't done so already. Rolling through the body. Inhale, send it forward, bring the shoulders in. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, send it back. Nice fluid movement through the body. And one more circle through the hips, finding more space, creating movement. Come back to center, lovely. Inhale, begin to reach the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Begin to hinge forward, so we're coming into forward fold from here. Hinge forward from the hips, so the hands plant to wherever they come, down onto the ground, making sure your sitting bones are still deeply rooted into the mat. Now, you might stay here with the hands planted onto the ground, or maybe you can drop down onto the forearms. Just depends on the space in your body. So just play around with both. Go with it. See what feels right for you. So wherever you are, we're going to begin to inhale, open forward, look forward, lengthen through the spine, and exhale. Begin to soften down, melting the upper body towards the ground. Inhale, lengthen halfway, looking up. And exhale, flow back down, find more space, allow the hips to be heavy. Inhale, locking up. And exhale, flowing back down. Maybe you can walk the hands further away as we find more space through the body. Inhale, lengthen, halfway, look forward. Exhale, soften back down. Inhale, flowing up, and exhale, flow back down. Last one. Inhale, flow. Exhale, soften down. Hold here for a breath. Legs are heavy, sitting bones are glued and really rooted deep into the mat. Just allow the head, the torso to become heavy and melt. And then inhale, press into both hands if you're not already and walk yourself back up, sitting nice and tall. Inhale, extend through the fingers, reaching up. Palms touch, draw the hands down in front of your heart center. Brilliant. From here, we're gonna make our way over to tabletop. So take your time coming over to hands and knees. Check your alignment once you're there, wrists in line under shoulders, knees in line under the hips. It's going to take a couple of normal cat cows. Inhale, drop the belly, loop the shoulder blades, look forward. Exhale, around the spine, drop the gaze, peeling up into cat. Inhale, drop the belly, look forward, open true to cow. Exhale, rounding back into cat. Feel through every movement as you inhale into cow. And you exhale, you round the spine, you draw the lower belly in, you press into the hands. And you inhale, back to you to cow. Lovely, feeling those pose and notice what's going on inside the body. Drop the gaze, peel the spine. Last one, inhale, choose a cow. 
and coming back to normal tabletop from here. Nice flat back. We're going to begin to pivot on the knee. So we're coming over to facing the short edge of the mat and begin to extend the right leg long away from the body. So we're going to begin to come high up onto the left leg. Tuck the toes under for a little bit more support on the left foot. And we want the right foot, the right side of the right foot to face towards the short edge of the mat. Now don't worry too much if the foot is a little bit further out. It'll depend on your own mobility and your joints. So inhale, coming up to standing, nice and tall. From here, we're gonna come into a bit of a side, side bend from here. So begin to draw your right hand down the right leg. Inhale, reach through the left fingertips. Extend through that left arm, feeling a nice opening through the chest. Begin to open up so you're looking up towards the ceiling. We're going to begin to flow through the body. So begin to flow the left hand down, rest it over towards the left side of the mat. Inhale the right hand up and begin to open up through the right side of the body. So we're pressing firmly to the right side of the foot. So over towards the baby toe. Inhale, coming back to center, float the body. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, floating back through. Left hand plants, right hand reaches towards the left side of the room. Floating back to center, right hand down our right leg, left hand extends. And float back through for three more. So once you have it, just begin to move with your own breath. Maybe close your eyes to really tap in and become aware of each movement. Noticing how this feels in the hips, sides of the body, into the belly. And then the next time you come back with the left hand on the mat, just hold here for a breath. Great. Bring the right hand back down. So you want both hands to place down onto the ground. We're gonna to begin to sink our hips towards the heel. So the toes of the left foot are still tucked under and we're still pressing firmly into the right foot. Fingertips down onto the ground for more support. Begin to send the hips towards the heel. Don't worry if you don't come the whole way down, just where you do. Inhale, come back up. Send the hips away from the heel. Exhale, send the hips back. Deep stretch into the toes. It's a lovely opener. Inhale, coming up, tree center. Exhale, send the hips back. Once again, inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lifting back. If you want to take it deeper, bring the hands into prayer and begin to inhale, coming up. Exhale, sitting back. Inhale, coming up. Send the hips forward. Exhale, sitting back. Last one, wherever you are. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, sit back, plant both hands down. Bring both knees in and just shimmy the hips, shake left to right. Just release any tension, any stress or strain. We're gonna make our way into the opposite side. So just readjust on the mat wherever you need to. Tuck the toes under the right foot, extend to the left, and inhale, make your way back up, up to standing. So begin to draw the left arm down along the left leg. Inhale, begin to reach, extend through the right arm. Look up, open the chest. Brilliant, lovely. Now we're gonna take our flow. Begin to draw the right hand down, plant on the mat. Inhale through the left fingertips, open the chest towards the sky. Exhale, drawing through. Inhale, open up. Exhale, right hands plant. Left arm opens through the chest. Flow back to center. Open, try keep this movement as fluid and with your own breath as best you can. So we're not straining, we're not pressing. Our body just feels like this is a natural movement. Plant the right hand, extend to the left. 
last round. Left hand meets the left leg, open up to the right. And then bring the right hand down onto the mat. Open up, lock up. Great. Like we did in the opposite side, bring both hands down out in front of you. Toes are still tucked under of the right foot and begin to send the hips towards the heel. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, sinking back down. Inhale, back up. Exhale, sink back down. Take the hands into prayer if you want to take it deeper. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, send the sitting bones back down. Inhale, pressing firmly into the outside left foot. Sitting back down, really deep opener for the toes. Inhale, sitting up. Exhale, sitting back down. Hold here, plant both hands. Bring the left knee in to meet the right. I'm just gonna pivot around. So make your way back to the long side of the mat. Plant both hands from here. And then make your way into our first downward facing dog. So spread the fingertips nice and wide, grounding down into all five fingers. Tuck the toes under, begin to hover the knees off the mat. Keep the knees deeply bent as you press the hips towards the back of the room. Our, possibly our first down dog of the day. Begin to shake out the hips. Maybe pedal it out, drop the weight into one heel at a time. Just waking up the backs, the legs. Moving with awareness. Just keep the movement as slow, as soft as you need to. And once you come up to an inhale, we're going to come up high onto the toes. So you're going to come up onto the balls of the feet. So you'll notice the shoulders will begin to move towards the wrists. Then exhale, drop the heels towards the mat. Inhale, coming high up onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, sink the hips back down. Once again, inhale, coming high up. Exhale, sink the hips down. Inhale, and exhale, brilliant. From here, sweep the right leg away from the mat. Begin to draw the knee into the belly. Hover, step, or walk the right foot up towards the top of the mat, in between both hands. So we're gonna come into a low lunge from here. Drop down onto the left knee. You can untuck the toes if it's a little bit more comfortable for you. Inhale, loop the shoulder blades back, look forward, open through the chest. Find length through the spine, shooting that energy up through the body, out through the crown of the head. Inhale, begin to come up to sitting nice and tall, bring the hands in front of your heart center. So you want to really sit up out of the hips and we're not collapsing into the lower back, but we're keeping the, the Torso sitting nice and tall, the weight is out of the legs. So once you have your stance, then you can begin to sit a little bit deeper into the low lunge. You just feel a nice opening into the left hip. Hands in prayer in front of you. Take a breath. And exhale, plant both hands. We want to heel toe the right foot just a little bit more open. We want to bring our right hand to the inside of the right knee and begin to draw that knee away. So you'll come up onto the outside of the right foot and begin to look towards the right side of the room. So we're opening through the chest, we're opening through the back body and we're opening deep into the hips. Begin to draw the right leg back to center, coming into a half splits from here. Begin to send the hips back high up onto the right heel, lengthen through the spine. Inhale, gently come back through to the low lunge. We're gonna come into a flow from here using those three poses that we did. So inhale, sitting high up, bring the hands into prayer, sitting up out of the body. Exhale, plant the hands, bring the right hand to the inside of the right knee, open up, looking over the right shoulder. 
Exhale, send the hips back. Bring back into our half splits. Inhale, hinge forward, bring the hands up. Hands come into prayer, strong legs. Exhale, hands plant. Bring the right hand to the inside of the right knee, looking over the right shoulder. Bring that right knee back to center, send the hips back, half splits. Inhale, back to center, hands back into prayer, sitting nice and tall, sitting out of the body. Exhale, plant the hands, bring the hand to the inside of the right knee, open up, look over the right shoulder. Knee comes back to center, shift the hips back, lengthen to the spine, hinge the body over the right leg. Inhale, coming back over. From here, plant both hands, tuck the toes under. We're going to try and step our right leg to meet the left into downward facing dog. Brilliant, shake out the hips. Moving into our opposite side. Extend the left leg long, draw it into the belly. Step, hover, hop. And whatever way you can get the left leg towards the top of the mat. Brilliant, drop down into lower lunge. Dropping down onto the right leg. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Coming up into our lower lunge, sitting out of the back body. Find length through the spine, open through the chest. Hands in prayer. Deep breath. Sink a little bit deeper into the hips if you have space in your body. And then release both hands down onto the mat. Left hand comes to the inside of the left leg. Open up, look over the left shoulder. Draw the left leg back into center. Shift the hips back. Coming back to, to our, our half splits. Looking forward, lengthen through the spine. Inhale, shift the hips, bring the hands up into prayer. Exhale, sink the hands down, drop the knee towards the left, look over the left shoulder. Draw that knee back to center, shift the hips back, lengthen and fold. Inhale, hinge forward. Inhale, bring the hands to your heart center into prayer low lunge drop the hands down plant either side of the left foot drop the knee look over the left shoulder and then bring that knee back to center from here we're just going to step the left leg to meet the right we're going to come into a wide legged child's pose send the hips towards the heels begin to send the forehead down towards the mat and just shimmy shake the hips left to right finding more space with each movement don't worry if the hips are nowhere near the heels we're just finding movement trying to create that space to allow the body to sink further in Shaking left to right, find more space. And from here, we're going to make our way into frog pose. Now you can always stay here in a wide legged child's pose and just work on opening through the knees and work on sinking deeper down. But if you want to take it deeper, we're going to work into frog pose. Let's come high up onto the forearms, coming from our wide legged child's pose. Begin to walk the legs a little bit further away. So you want to roughly your knees in line with your hips and you want your ankles in line under your knees. You just maybe feel to the body just to notice that alignment to make sure you're not too far forward or too far back. And if at all this pose feels like there's pain or you're feeling any tension, you've probably gone too far, come out of the pose. You just want to feel an awareness. You just want to feel that, that opening through the body, nothing too intense. So maybe staying high up onto the forearms or if you want to sink down and take it a little bit deeper, you can always come down even lower, maybe rest the forehead down onto the mat. Or if you want, stay high up on the hands. Just go to your own level. Notice where you are in your own body. Take it to your own limit. It doesn't matter at all where you are. So once you're there, once, you, once you're in the pose, in the place where you want to be, just begin to rest and settle in. 
And I begin to bring a bit of a flow, a bit of movement into the pose. So wherever you are, high up on your hands or down on the forearms, we're going to begin to flow through some very gentle cat cows in this pose. So inhale, begin to look forward, drop the belly, so we're dropping the hips, sinking a little bit deeper. Exhale, begin to press into the hands and around the spine. This is a very small movement, so you'll feel it, but it won't look like much. Inhale, drop the belly, look forward. Exhale, around through the spine and drop the gaze, look towards the mat. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, drop the gaze. You really do feel this, even though it's such a slight movement. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Gently sink down, release. Just for three more breaths in stillness wherever you are. Maybe the knees can walk a little bit wider. Maybe you can sink a little bit deeper. And gently to come out of the pose. Begin to press into the hands if you haven't done so already. And use the hands, really press in to bring the knees back in. And we're all going to meet back into child's pose. So if you're in your wide leg of child's pose, bring the knees to touch and send the hips towards the heels. Rest the belly down onto the legs, rest the forehead towards the mat. And if it doesn't make it there, you can always rest one fist on top of the other and rest the forehead on top comfortably. And just sink down. And inhale, gently press into the hands, look forward. Come back up off the hips. Just shift the legs towards one side and make our way down to lying on our back. So plant both feet, move gently, softly as you can. Bring yourself down, stretch out the body, stretch the arms, stretch through the legs, hug the knees in towards the belly, giving them a deep squeeze into the body. I'm going to come into just one final twist, so cross the right leg over the left. I'm just going to drop the legs over towards the left, drop the legs as they are towards the left and extend the arms long. So we want to try and imagine that we're grounding our right shoulder deeply into the mat. You can bring your arms into cactus pose, bending at the elbows if you don't have too much space. I'm going to be here for a moment. If this is too intense in your hips, you can always uncross the legs and just come into a normal twist. Just allow the body to Finally unwind and sink and let it all go. Bring the knees back to center. Unwind the legs, hug the knees into the belly. Cross the opposite way. Hug the knees in, open the arms. Drop the legs towards the right. And maybe begin to look towards the left, close the eyes. Just drop the awareness, let go. Lovely, bring the knees back into the belly, hugging them both in, rock side to side, massage out the lower spine. Make your way into Shavasana, extend the legs long, extend the arms long. Just drop all awareness, all weight, and let go. This is where I'm going to leave you here in your Shavasana. I encourage you to stay as long as you can. The longer you hold your Shavasana for, the better. This is where we reap the rewards. We tie every pose of our class together. Nice bow. We allow it to nestle and rest and settle into our body. Just drop the weight and drop the awareness. 
Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's class. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Namaste.